Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows what we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. Now, this same thing multiplying, you can write it as 8 raised to the power x of squared equals to 60 here. And also from here, this follows what we have a raised to the power m raised to the power n. Which is the same thing as a raised to the power mn. That is, this power multiplies, and we have 8 raised to the power 2x equals to 60 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power 2x equals to log 60 here. The next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m, Raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes 2x log 8 equals to log 60 from here. And next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. So this here, log 8 cancel each other. And we have 2x left equals to log 60 over log 8. Then, what we have here, we can write 60 as 4 times 15, which implies we have 2x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 8. Then, here, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, I write this as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes 2x equals to log 4 plus log 15 over log 8. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions. And what we have becomes 2x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 15 over log 8. Then, and also we write 15 as 3 times 5, which implies what we have becomes 2x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 times 5 over log 8. And here, this also follows the law of logarithm. This becomes 2x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 8. Then also here, we separate this into two fractions. And what we have becomes 2x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. Then from here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, and also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And what we have becomes 2x equals to log 2 squared over log. 2 keep plus log 3 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, 3 comes here, also 3 comes here, and 3 comes here. And we have 2x equals to 2 log 2 over. 3 log 2 plus log 3 
over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Okay, from here, log 2 cancelled each other. We have 2 over 3 left. That is 2x equals to 2 over 3. Then plus here, we can write this as 1 over 3 multiplied by log 3 over log 2. Then also plus here, 1 over 3 multiplied by log 5 over log 2. Then here, we apply change of base from when we have log A over log B, which can be written as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then here we can bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have 2x equals to the SCM here, that's 3, and this remains 2, then plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 here. And also here, we multiply both sides by 1 over 2. Multiply this side by 1 over 2. So multiply this side by 1 over 2. That is, here, 2 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 then all over here 3 times 2 equals 6 that is the value of x here we have 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 6 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 or over 6. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 or over 6. Also times 8 raised to the power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 6 is it equals to 60 on this side. Then from here, this follows when we have same base multiplying. When we have a raised to the power m times also a raised to the power same power as well m. The same thing as a raised to the power m plus m, which is 2 times m. And here we can write this as a raised to the power 2 times the power, which is 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 6. Then, is it equals to 60 on this side? Then, here yeah, this power multiplies 2 year 1 and 2 year 3. We have 8 raised to the power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 3. This equals to 60 here. Then, same thing here, we can write 8 as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 or over 3 is it equals to 60 on this side also this power multiplies 3 here cancel with each other we have 2 raised to the power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then this follows from the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. For this here, we have 2 squared times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then 2 square here 
that's four then times a follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b at this here we have three then times five is this equals to 60 here and three times five twelve twelve times five that's sixty which is equals to sixty on this side left hand side is equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 3 raised to 2 plus log 5 raised to all over 6 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now